Hi Jane. Hi Jane. How are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Jane. Hello, Karen. Hello there. How are you? Good afternoon. Hello, Steph. Good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon, Jennifer. Hello there. Hello, Shally. Hello, Marianne. Marion. Stop saying Marianne. Hello, Marion. Hello there. How is everybody? Afternoon. We'll be back shortly once I get home and bring in the shopping. Yay, Jane. Hope the shopping went okay. Hello, Piggy Sue. Hello, Roz. I'm glad you're well, Karen. Lovely to have your company. Lovely to have your company. Good afternoon, Roz. How are you? How are you? Hello, Leslie. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello, Marion. Good afternoon, ladies. Welcome. Good afternoon, Gina. A nice wee surprise. <laughs> Hello, Linda. Hello, Flower. How are you? Yes, I'm very well, Piggy Sue. Very well. Yes, I am. I just decided, I thought, oh, I need to rearrange my room because I want to fit another trolley in. I don't know where I'm going to fit this trolley, but it wasn't a good idea. So I'm trying to fit it in somewhere and I've got the smallest room on the planet. Hello, Raina. Hello, Serena. Good afternoon. And Roz, Steph says hi. Hello, Jan. Hello, Margaret. Hello, Carolyn. Lovely to see you too. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Shirley. I hope everybody's well. I hope you're all keeping well and keeping sane. Hello, Andrea. So, yes, I shouldn't have decided to tidy my room to fit another trolley in. That was not a good idea. I really shouldn't have done it. Hello, Alison. But I ordered the trolley and didn't think about where it was going. So I'm a drip. Hello, Sue. Good afternoon. I'm on the workshops. Yippee. <laughs> Yay, Linda. <laughs> Hello, Lucy. Hello, Flower. How are you? A bit shattered from yesterday. I may have... Well, you, you're doing well, Maureen. 45 masks and four for me. <laughs> I've done bits of housework as well, Maureen. That wasn't very pleasant. Hey, up, Steve-o. Have you got your internet back? Oh, I didn't realise your internet had gone, Steve-o. How are you? Hello, Susan. Good afternoon. Well, I've got one trolley, Sue, but I've ordered another one. But I ordered it without thinking where it's going. So now I'm rearranging the whole room because I want to fit this trolley in. Not a sensible idea. But I'll try. I'll keep trying. Yes, we all seem to be well, Lynn. How about you? Yeah, 4 p.m. already, Jackie. <laughs> Doesn't the day pass quickly when you're having fun? <laughs> Well, I want a unit, Maureen, so that whatever stamps I'm using for that month, I can just keep them at hand in the trolley. So that's my idea. But I'm terrible. I order storage with no concept of where it's going to go. I am the world's worst. I just like the storage and worry about it later. I'm terrible. I really am ter terrible. When my camera arrives, people will think I have shaved four years off my age. <laughs> Why are you going are you going to airbrush, Lucy? <laughs> yeah, well I've got that that's what trolleys I've got, the deflector or whatever they're called. But I, I know you can add to them, but I haven't got the space to add the baskets to them. But the trolleys, I haven't really got space for them either. But there you go. Oh Gabrielle. Apparently it's Gabrielle's birthday. Happy birthday, Gabrielle. Hello, Kirsten. Good afternoon. Hello, Gabby. Greetings from Germany. Good Abend, I think. Is it Good Abend? Good good afternoon, Gabby. I was off for two weeks. Corro corroded connect uh, corroded connection. Wow. At least you're back, Steve O. That's the main thing. 
I've just bought three shelves for my trolley. They're brilliant. Do they fit at the side, Patsy? The trolleys. Do they fit, do they fit at the side of the trolleys? They get everyone. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just terrible. Hello, Sue. Good afternoon. Hello, Neat. I hope your leg's okay, Neat. Hello there. Quite a few are saying happy birthday to Gabrielle. Number 1967. Oh, yes. I was messing around with the camera to make it so that I can get it dimensional, so that I can make it a 3D camera. So I've made like a box for it. It works quite well, actually. So this is my prototype. This is my prototype. And then I thought I could paint all the way around and then add that to a project so that it's 3D. I love the trolleys as well. So, yes. So I was just messing with my camera because my lovely friend Anne did a 3D camera. But I wanted a camera that I could just add to my canvases. And I thought, how can I make the th camera 3D so that I can add it to plaques and canvases? So I've added it to like a little box, which works quite well. So I quite like that. So it makes the camera 3D. So then you can carry it on round the sides and paint it. So it works quite well. So I've got the measurements if you want those measurements for the box. My deflector are fully stuffed. Hello, Anne. Mine is fully stuffed as well. And Sue's ordered one. Make it a uh, jewellery making and a hobby craft one for my paints. Well, I've just ordered another one, Sue. And I don't know why I've ordered another trolley. Because there's nowhere for it to go. Yes, they, they hang on £15 from hobby craft. They are new in. Oh, I need to... I need to have a look. What do you call them, Patsy? Do they just, do they, are they called something? I am four years older. I've aged about 20 years in lockdown. Good afternoon, Maria. They're so handy, aren't they? The basket section's just clipped together. I can't fit the baskets on, but I've just ordered another trolley. You want the measurements, do you, Lucy, for the little box, for the camera? Let me tell you the measurements. So what I did... I'm supposed to be making a card, but I'll just give you the measurements for the little box. Yes, everybody's saying they hope you're feeling better, Neat. I got the trolley, Jane, from, from Spit It Out, Hobbycraft, 20 odd pounds. The three tier trolleys that, have, that are on wheels, I've ordered them. They're brilliant, but I've got nowhere to put it. I just ordered because I could and nowhere to put it because I'm such a drip. I mean, what am I like? Just search trolley shelves. Okay, Patsy, I'll do that. But I'm such a drip. But my lovely friend, Anne Redfern, made a fantastic 3D camera. But I didn't want to do the same as Anne. One, because that's Anne's idea. But I wanted to create a 3D camera that would be on like a box so that if I add it to a plaque or I add it to a canvas, it had got some 3D element. So the measurements for this box. So what they are... Lucy, the measurement of the box is four and three quarters, four and three quarter inches by six and a quarter inches in length. So four and three quarters in width by six and a quarter in length. And what I've done, I don't know whether you can see these score lines. Can you see these score lines? I hope you can, Lucy. I'm not supposed to be doing this. Don't worry. I'm just waffling. I'm just waffling. So what I've done let me turn, there you go, you can see it when I turn it over. I've scored at one inches all the way around, one inches all the way around, and then a quarter of an inch. So on each side, I've scored at one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch, and then a quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch to make the box. But what I'm thinking is, look at this. I'm gone. Let me just see if I can. Let me see if I can find it. I knew I would go off on a flaming tangent. Let me see if I can find it. I'm gone. I need to find this. I'm terrible for going off on tangents. I need to find something. I'm gone. This is what I'm looking for. Exactly. I thought it'd be good because what I thought about the little box is you could cut this open. And then stick something inside. But look, if you've got any of these from Tim Holtz that used to hold the film strips, you could even add that on the front and create a dimensional camera. 
So you could literally add that to have a dimensional camera. So it's just another idea. Or if you wanted, you could cut round that and have something inside the box. So you could have something in the box. Oh, don't apologise, Lucy. It's not a problem. Not a problem at all. But it's just a good idea if you're getting the camera stamp just to make it dimensional because it makes it a box and then you can make a dimensional camera in, you know, in a simple way. So all as I did, Belinda, was I cut a piece of card four and three quarter inches in width and six and a quarter inches in length. So I cut it and then all you do is score one inches, one inches, one inches and a quarter of an inch on each side. So can you see those score lines, a quarter and a one inch? So you do that and then you just make it into a box. You fold it up, you cut the corners off like you were creating a box. And these little quarter of an inch pieces create the flap to stick the, box, the, to stick the camera on. So then your camera, you can draw the lines across here, draw the line across here, paint it all one colour across here and across here. And then you've got a dimensional camera. And exactly the film strip that I've got from Tim Holtz will go with the camera. So if you didn't want to make a flat camera like this is, so this camera's flat. If you didn't want to make a flat camera, you can make a 3D camera. So it gives you a couple of options. But I'm not the queen of 3D and Redfern's the queen of 3D. But this works really well for a simple idea if you wanted to put that on a canvas or put it on something like a plaque or you wanted to put it on something like um an mdf tag then that would work eh, i'm not technical steph honestly i'm useless the the uh the, the trolleys somebody's just said where's the trolley from hobbycraft jane hobbycraft just put in trolley in hobbycraft and they come up about 20 out, 28 pound. And if you've got the film strip in the, in the tin, where's it gone now? If you've got the film strip in the tin, you can either use this part and just have that as the camera, like so. So you could have that as the camera part. So you could use the lid. I'm just waiting for my camera to catch up. So you could have that as the camera part, or you could have that as the camera part and make it even bigger. So, and also, if you cut out the circle, cut it out, you can then have things inside. You can have things inside. So as per normal, I've gone off on a tangent. <laughs> I wasn't even creating that. <laughs> so I've gone off on a tangent. So, but it's a nice idea for the camera if you want a flat one or you want a 3D one. Yes, they were awesome, weren't they, Jennifer? Yes, they were brilliant. So if you want a 3D camera in a simple way, that gives you a 3D camera in a nice, easy way because it sticks out nicely, 3D. And if you wanted, you could put it on a stand like Anne did. You could put it on a stand and stand it up so that it was on like its own stand so it had legs. So you could stick it on a stand as well. But it just gives you some ideas. Yeah, empty tea light holder. Good idea, Diane. Empty tea light holder on the end of here would work brilliantly. Absolutely brilliantly it would work. But it just gives you another idea for those of you that have bought the stamp set. Because I just think it, it's a brilliant idea. And can you imagine... Sorry, I'm waffling. Can you imagine cutting that open and then sticking a flower, in one of the flowers, one of my flowers inside? It looks like you've taken a picture of a flower. So you stick a flower inside or you stick a photograph if it's somebody's special birthday. Work perfect. There you go. That's my waffling for today. <laughs> I'm terrible. I go off on tangents. <laughs> And, that, and if you want to change the year, that's easy because you just put a little label over the year. So you just put a little label over the year and make it a year to anybody else. 
would make me seven years younger. What are you lot like? You're mad. You seriously are mad. Right. What we're going to do today is we're going to create a nice simple card with the B stamp. I'm trying to give you some ideas if you bought the weekend wow, because I don't want to just, you know, I don't want you to buy the stamps and then them not get used. So I'm just giving you some ideas with those stamps. I've got paint on my stamp here. Hello, Alison. Yeah, that's a good idea, Belinda. Make it into a box for greeting cards to hold. That's a brilliant idea. Yeah, exactly. Of course you can, Diane. So I'm going to use the B stamp and I'm going to do a nice, simple card. <laughs> Yvonne's not saying how many years younger it would make her. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these three colour paints. Let me bring the paints in so you can see what colour paints I'm using. So I'm using lime, turquoise and peacock. That, that's what I like, Belinda, the mix and matching. But I think it's important to keep bringing the ideas coming because obviously sometimes we forget how to use the stamps if we're not using them frequently enough. So it's, it's a good idea just to keep some ideas flowing. Waving at the screen. Hello, Alison. <laughs> so, yeah, so the, the, other, the other idea is you could... What you could, the other idea I thought about the camera before I do the uh, card, if you cut that open, what was I just thinking then? I was just thinking, if you cut that open, oh, if you add a light inside, if you add a light inside the box. So before you stick the camera on your 3D box, put a light inside and then attach the light through the back and then you can switch it on and then the light comes on. I'm going off on a tangent again. What am I like? I need to shut up now. I thought I'd watched all on a channel, just still finding more YouTubes. Yes, because her channel didn't play all my videos. So there's 12 on YouTube. So you could use those tiny LED lights. Yes, Belinda, in the camera. That would work perfectly. I have my little whirlwind granddaughter here. Oh, bless Chris. You enjoy your time with your granddaughter. Just back from Trenton. I haven't been out yet. I need to go out. Oh, the bee stamps landed. Yay, Carol. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. So I'm using these colours. I'm using lime, turquoise and peacock. So, and Belinda says, hi, Chris. So I'm just going to put my paints out like so. Nice. A nice good dollop of paint. So we've got lime. We've got turquoise. Thanks for ordering. Thank you, Carol. So I'm going to add turquoise, nice dollop. And then we're going to add peacock. Some nice colours. Here, virus is so much worse. Well, one of our cities is, at, is in lockdown again, Belinda. One of our cities is. Leicester. So back in lockdown again. So not good at all. So what we're going to do now is you're going to sort of blend your paints together with your palette knife. So you end up with that. So you've got a nice blend of colour. Hello, Tracy. Nice to see you. Hello, Anne. Well, my hands anyway. Trust me, you only want to see me hands, my hands, Anne. The face is not a pretty sight. So I've got the colours blended on my palette knife. And as you can see, I've got the lime, the turquoise and then the peacock all across my palette knife. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag the colour across the card. And I've still got some on there. So I just add a few different, just a few little textural bits across. You don't want to mix the colour too much because you want it to be nice and vibrant. You want it to be lovely and vibrant. And what I've got here is this is the insert to my card. This is the insert to my card. So I'm going to pick up some more of that paint and I'm just going to add a little flash of the colour to the insert of my card. So I'm just going to add it to the insert of my card 
just so it looks like it coordinates and then I'll show why. So I'm just going to leave that open to dry. So I've just added that to the insert of my card and I'm just going to get a scrap piece of card. Just let me get a scrap. Just getting a scrap of card. Just getting a scrap of card because I can create another background. So if you look at these colours, they're nice and bright. I've not mixed them. I've not mixed them at all. Need to take notes for all your techniques would, would take me years. <laughs> so it's not the colours are not being mixed, so I'm just going to see if there's any colour left on my palette knife, which there isn't. I've used all the colour, so there's not much on there at all, so I don't need to worry about that. There's hardly any colour on there. So I'm just going to wipe up my paint. I need a baby wipe. Let me just make sure I've not missed any colour. Yes, I love the colours, I must admit. Now I need to get into my wipes, which I can't because they're wrapping. Why didn't I undo my baby wipes before I went live? How are you supposed to undo these packages? Good grief. Just trying to undo my baby wipes. It's like an exam. That's it. There we go. So I'm just going to clear up because there's no, there's not really any paint there that I can use. So that's not a problem. I'm not wasting anything. It's, it's pretty dry paint, that is. So that's not a problem at all. So what I'm going to do is bring in my card. So you can see that we've got some textural elements there. So what I want to do now is get another piece of card. So just get my card, get another piece of card. And what I've got... It's just a jar to draw around. Just want a jar to draw around. I love the colours. I do. Hello, Linda. Hello there. So I'm just going to draw around this jar. Mainly because it's about the right size and I've got nothing else to draw around. So I'm just drawing around the circular piece. So just cut that out. I love these colours together. And if you don't, if you don't mix them then they keep the vibrancy. If you don't mix the colours, it keeps the vibrancy. The idea of adding it with the pal palette knife is you get these lumps and bumps and you get a more textural element. Yippee, I'm home from work early. Hello, Wendy. Have you had a good, a good day at work? Good evening, Joanna. I love the colours. I think they're so vibrant and so lovely. So what I'm doing now is I'm cutting a circle out and I'm just, I've just used a jar, a little container to draw around because that was the, the perfect size that I wanted. So I'm just going to use that to draw around. So I'm just cutting out the circle, which you don't need me to see me do. Oh, it is muggy, Chris, I must admit. Very muggy. But I've quite enjoyed myself today because I've, I've sort of got things a bit more organised. But I just need to... I bought one of them trolleys, Chris, and I've got no room to put it. Why did I buy it? Because I'm stupid, that's why. Didn't think about where it was going. So just going to add a little bit more paint now, just for my circle. Just for my circle, just a little bit. Just to repeat, I've been to... I've been to... Oh, I've been to Louise, Tracy. I saw the underside... I've been to, oh, this was a gift. This was a gift off Robin when I did a workshop because it's got a teasel, because it's got a teasel inside. She gave it me because of my stamp set. I thought, I was thinking then, pardon. <laughs> so yes, so she gave it to me. It was a present off Robin when I did a workshop in Scotland and she gave it to me. So, yeah, so I've bought this trolley and I've got nowhere for, to put the damn thing. So now I'm reorganising my craft room. My floor is so covered in supplies. I've, I've got to do something. I can't carry on like this. And Shelley's been bin diving. <laughs> hey, we like a bit of bin diving. We love a bit of bin diving. So just blend your colours and then pick it up. And then go over like so and just don't mix it too much just add some of the color just don't mix it too much because you want to keep that vibrancy 
so you don't want to mix the colour too much. I work on a school bus with teenagers with special and additional needs. It's the most amazing job ever. I bet that's really rewarding, actually, Wendy. I bet that's very rewarding. And I bet, they, I bet they're glad that they've got you as well. So now I'm going to give this a dry. I'm going to give this a dry. It's going to take a little bit longer to dry because it's thicker paint. I have three children, adults now, with SEN. You see, now I'm showing my ignorance because I don't know what SEN is. No, trolley won't fit under my desk, Sonia. I thought about that. It's too tall. So it won't fit under my desk. So I have no idea where it's going. I'm, I'll be pushing mine out of the way as well, Liz, because I'm such a dimwit. I order it with no idea where it's going. So I'm not exactly the brightest spark on the planet. <coughs> oh, I don't know why they're mean to the cashiers. So I'm just giving this a dry because it's quite thick paint. So you just have to be a little bit patient. The colours, Francis, are lime, turquoise, lime, turquoise and peacock. Lime, turquoise and peacock. And now they don't want to stay still. So the lime, turquoise and peacock. Special edition needs. Oh, thank you, Jane. I didn't realise. That's just showing my ignorance. So I'm just giving that a dry. Just to make sure it's mainly dry. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Anne. I like how you all know and I don't, showing my ignorance, of course. So I'm now going to adhere this to my card, like so. Just adhere. Tracy, all live at home and have just stopped another argument. You've stopped another argument? Oh, they all live at home and you've just stopped another argument. Oh, crikey. So you've got your hands full then, Sue. You've got your hands full. Crikey. You don't realise, do you? So I'm just adhering my circle just to my piece here. I may bring it down a little bit, like so. So I'm just going to get a piece of scrap paper and just press this down just so that it adheres mine is the mint free too i like the gray though mint free what have i missed mint free i missed that bit the mint free bit oh will it fit under the desk if i take the wheels off ah sarah that might be an idea i could take the wheels off Yes, that's a brilliant idea. Oh, I'm quite happy now. I never thought about taking the wheels off. What a brilliant idea. Oh, that is a fan. Uh, how big is the suit? Oh, I just drew around a jar, Belinda. I just drew around a jar. Hang on. Um, I don't know where my tape measure is. Hang on, I just need to find my tape measure. I don't know where my tape measure is. Uh, I think my husband's taking the tape measure. Hang on. Hang on, Belinda. I haven't got my tape measure, Belinda, I'm afraid, so I'll have to give it in this. I don't know what these are, centimetres. I don't usually measure in centimetres, but I've only... All I've done is draw around a jar, and it's... 11 and a half centimetres. 11 and a half centimetres. Yeah, if you take the wheels off, it won't pull out easy. Yeah, but it's... I'll have to have a think. I'll have to have a think. It might be worth trying it without the wheels. I'll have to have a think. Or I'm just going to have to rearrange my craft room and see if I can come up with another idea. What you're supposed to do is not order until you know where it's going. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to order things when you know where they're going, not the other way round. But I got all excited because I fancied buying some storage. I got all excited. 
I've got mine in an A4 drawer. It had it in the trolley. My hubby would see how many stamps. <laughs> oh, my hubby doesn't care how many stamps I've got anymore. He's given up caring. He knows that I collect stamps and plants. So he knows that there's no point ca counting plants and there's no point counting stamps. So these are my two circles. So I've cut the circle and added the other half to the other to that side of the card just so it, it balances out exactly that's no fun is it <laughs> i've told you the colors francis did you not see the colors are lime turquoise and peacock lime turquoise and peacock no you can't wheel it out without the wheels that's the thing and i like wheeling them out i'll have another think maybe i can move some stuff around I shouldn't have bought a trolley. That was the whole point. I mean, let's let's talk about it properly. If I only ordered stuff when I knew where it was going, I'd never get any. <laughs> no, I never know where it's going, sorry. If I buy a plant for the garden, I never know where it's going. <laughs> never know where it's going. So Francis has just sent a picture and I can't tell what it's a picture of. No idea what it's a picture of. Right, so I'm just going to use my stamp set 304, the heartfelt. Maybe put those sliders on the bottom like you use with the moving furniture. Yeah, but then it'll be too tall for my going under my desk. So I'm just going to add some stamping just to the background, just to give it a little bit more interest. So I'm just going to add a little touch of stamping. And what I'm using is Mermaid Lagoon. If it will stand on your carpet, use bottle tops and it will slide out. Ooh. Ooh, I might try that. Yes. You see, you've given me some ideas now I need to try. It's definitely not going back. Put it that way. It's not going back. It's, it's definitely staying. It's not going back. So what I'm going to do is this is the insert of my card this is the insert so just make sure this is dry the, the thing is nothing else will fit under the desk Sonia the only other thing I've got is the trolley and tall cupboards because my craft room has got fitted cupboards <laughs> we will figure it out for you <laughs> I'm such a drip ordering a cupboard because my my workspace it's got fitted cupboards. So what I'm doing now is I'm showing that sometimes it's nice to decorate the inside of the card. Make your desk higher. I can't. <laughs> I can't. It's all fitted in. No, I didn't get a Tim Holtz one. I got one of them. You know that you normally get from Ikea, but you can get them from Hobbycraft. One of them. I know my nails are really long. So I've just added the same detail on the inside of my card as I have on the covering. We need to see your workspace. <laughs> I'll have to show you because it's all fitted cupboards. It's all fitted cupboards. So what you can see here, let me if I just tilt the camera, this area here, it's all fitted cupboards like this. So a fitted desk, fitted cupboards, fitted everything. So it's very... Everything's all, you can't see. I can't turn it anymore on my camera. That was useful. You could always suspend it from the ceiling. <laughs> yes, suspend it from the ceiling. I'm sending you all dizzy now. I'm moving the camera all over the place. Let me move it up a bit. That's it. We don't want to see my legs. <laughs> you know which one I mean, don't you, Anne? So at the moment, this is what we've got. We've got this. And then what I'm going to do is pick up is I'm going to stamp my B onto a piece of white card. So I've got my B and I'm just going to get a piece of white card. Wonderful state of the art craft desk. <laughs> I've had I've always had a fitted cupboard. So I've got fitted cupboards, fitted desk, everything's purpose built into the craft room. So it means that I can't have much room for cupboards. I've got a metal cabinet and I've got some nice wooden shelves that are vintage. Yeah, I could take a look on Pinterest, but goodness knows why I bought a trolley without deciding where it was going first. Dimwit definitely comes to mind, definitely. I mean, 
honestly, I'm not the brightest spark on the planet. I really am not. I mean, I should think about it first before getting excited about some storage. <laughs> yes, I could use the ceiling. I could use the ceiling. So now I've got my little B. I'm just going to blot the B. Just give that a blot. Oh, I love my metal drawers. And I, I love these little metal drawers I've got as well. I've got some little metal drawers. I'll have to do a little tour of my craft room. It's only small, but I'll have to do a little tour. Because I've got some lovely little vintage cupboards in the hallway, Karen says. <laughs> in the hallway. I can just imagine my husband, if I put some craft in the hallway, he says, keep the, all the crap in one place, please, Tracy. I don't want all the crap all over the house. That's what he says to me. Crap, he calls it. I was like, excuse me, them are my craft items. Them are my stamp designs. Cheeky thing. So it's not very interesting if I did a tour, honestly. It's not very interesting. Oh, exactly, Sonia. It doesn't matter how big your craft room is, you always need more space. If my daughter left home, I could have the huge bedroom. But I don't know whether I want to do that, really, because I'd only fill it anyway. So what I like to do is I like to make sure I use the products I've got. And if I don't use something, then it doesn't stay. I make sure I use everything I've got. I don't keep anything I don't use. So I'm quite I'm quite strict. My space is only little, Karen. Trust me. I love my little space and I don't want a bigger space because I'll just use it up. So what we've got now is we've got the B and I've got the extra wings. And what I've got is I've got this beautiful frame which I thought we'd use. Does your hubby say that as well, Sue? I know, the cheek. Crap, that's what he calls it. <laughs> my husband is saying shout that louder having a dig at me <laughs> oh bless they don't know what they're talking about calling my calling my stamp sign he said you, you've got enough space you need my address <laughs> so no so ian always says to me you only need one room so i don't really want to go into a bigger room i just make sure that i use absolutely everything i've got I don't I don't just store it, I use it. I I live on my own. So actually that's a good idea, Alison. I could get rid of the children and my husband and then I could have every room in the house. That's not a bad idea. Perhaps I should mention that to him, what do you think? That is a very good idea. Yeah, my husband calls it crap. <laughs> He said, I should tell a responsible adult when I go into the craft room in case he has to send out a search party. Cheeky buggers, aren't they? I think they're such cheeky buggers. They really are. So I'm going to add my B here. And this frame just splits everything up a bit. It just breaks. I know, cheeky buggers. Can't believe it. And they're my stamp designs. Oh, my God. Linda's just ordered a green hobby craft trolley. <laughs> Lindy, <laughs> mind you, Lindy, I love them. I've got a, like a creamy beige one and I've ordered a white one. I love them. I just love them. Actually, if I didn't use it, Laura could have it in her room for makeup. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, Thelma, that's lovely. Thelma's husband always supports her and encourages me to buy. It, my husband never moans about what I buy. He couldn't give a monkey's what I buy. He just says, Can, don't, make sure you don't put all the crap in the lounge. That's all he says. Oh, there you go. Hope's husband's a, an artist, so he has his own space in the attic. Oh, I'd love the attic, Hope. I'd love the attic. I'd love an attic or a basement. An attic or a basement. That would be lovely. We don't really have basements in the UK. But I'd love that. I really would love that. And I say, it looks as if a hand grenade has been. <laughs> Marion, uh, Marianne, after I've, done, after I've done my live, I'm going to sort my craft room out to fit my trolley in. That's how desperate mine's got. So what we're doing now is we're adding the B. And the reason, 
I've used this frame is it just splits everything up. Belinda's got a little tower of metal drawers from our Hobby Lobby. I've got a lovely little vintage cabinet of metal drawers. It's lovely. I really love it. Yeah, your attic would be so hot. That's true. Yeah, mine looks like a hand grenade's gone off. My Ian's great. He found some twine in the van and bought it in and said, do you want this? <laughs> collect crap to add to my pieces so do i i collect crap to add to mine as well too right i do don't think there's anything wrong with a bit of crap so what i've got now is i've got the b sentiment and i'm going to add that to my other circle to my other circle and i'm keeping some of it white just so that it just pops just so there's not too much dark color and what I'm going to do is add this little, do you know this feels quite heavy now? Just add this to here so we've got a little clip. Where there's a will, there's a way. Exactly. <laughs> I would like my own little bit building. I could have a building in the garden if I wanted to, but the problem I'd have with that is that I'd never go in the garden when it was winter. When it's cold outside and dark, I would never go out. So there's no point in me doing that. So I enjoy my little room for what it is. I just enjoy it for what it is. So I'll just add that protect like so. Hello, Pauline. Mine's only small as well, Pauline. But I love my little space. I love my little space. I'll do you a little tour and it'll last about three and a half minutes one of those shepherd huts yes but i just wouldn't go in the garden and craft i wouldn't i'd be useless i like being in the house so i've just got that and now i'm going to add an index clip no surprise there so i'm just going to add an index clip just thinking about the balance exactly the problem is if i was no i, I, I can't craft in the garden it just wouldn't work for me it works for some people, but it wouldn't work for me. So what I'm going to do now is highlight these circles a little bit more. So I'm going to use my ink tense pencil and I'm just going to draw around each of the circles. <laughs> oh, I'm not bothered. I like having my craft stuff. I like having my craft stuff. It keeps me happy. And Ian's not bothered anyway. I like it. Who needs a dining room, Sue? Who needs a dining room, I say? Who needs a dining room? So I'm just using an ink tense pencil, which goes nicely over the plastic paint because you need something that will go over the plastic layer of the paint. So I'm just adding some of this ink tense pencil just round the circle and I'll reactivate it with water. Years ago, I had a wonderful room that I built, I had built-in shelves. It was so nice. I've got built-in everything, Belinda, and it's still not enough room. I've got built-in everything. But yes, I'll do, a, I'll do a little tour. It won't be super exciting, so don't get too excited. And, you'll, and after three minutes, you'll be like, is that it? It's minute, my room is. It's only little. But I do love it. I do love the space. But I just need to make space for a trolley. So I'm just going to activate this now with some water just to blend this out, just to blend this colour out, just so it adds some shading and makes it pop. I love my crafty space in the study, even if I need to share it with the kids and hubby. No, I love mine as well. I don't mind at all It's that it's small. I think some of you understand me. Of course we understand you, Lucy. We're just as mad as you are. Of course we understand you. So we're just adding the shading around the circle just to make it pop a little bit more. Just to make that pop. And I'm just blending it out a little bit. It just makes all of it pop. You need to look inside the drawers. Are you kidding me? Oh, you are joking. You need to look inside the drawers. You'll be bored after 10 minutes. Oh, good grief. 
there's not it's not super interesting trust me but you know these these um ladies especially in america where they've got these huge rooms and the craft rooms look amazing ian said we can move to america if you want and then you can have an amazing craft room that's what he said to me you can move to america if you want can you imagine that i have a double bedroom that is totally for craft oh how lovely carol how lovely that is fab so what I'm going to do now is blend this other circle just to make it pop. Just to make everything pop. Just so we can blend that out a little bit. It means it's not so, it just, it's not embedded in, it stands out. I have a small bedroom outside, upstairs fitted out with cupboards. You see, that sounds lovely, Jenny. I don't think we need a bit, we don't necessarily need a big room. It's just about how you store the products. You don't have to have a big room. I love my little space with some vintage cabinets. I need to get some of those filigree charmy thingy bobs. Right, which are the filigree charmy thingy bobs now? Do you mean this, the, the frame? I think that's one of Tim Holtz's old, old ones. So now you can see that it pops. Can you see those circles pop now? I have a trolley I bought in Hobbycraft, but pretty much use everything else storage-wise. Table, desk, we're all found on free cycle. Wow. Oh, who cares if it's mismatched, Wendy? As long as we're enjoying ourselves, it doesn't matter that it's mismatched, does it? I don't think it does anyway. So now I'm going to add some little embellishments and some touches of white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this rusty nail from my lovely friend Jane my lovely online rusty nail so I'm just going to add this here just add my rusty nail like so just to there I love that rusty nail right then you have more money to buy stamps <laughs> thank you Karen thank you <laughs> so any excuse but I just love storage I mean, I'd be terrible if I'd got a room like some of the houses in America. I'd be buying storage all the time. This is one of them reinforcers that you get from your tags. And then I'm going to add some white lines just to make it pop. Just to make it pop. The nail's perfect, isn't it? It's from Jane. Jane sent me that. I just thought it was a lovely little touch, the nail. So just add some scratchy white lines because I love my scratchy white lines because it just makes everything pop so just a little bit of paint just to make it all pop like so and then just a couple more wonky nail exactly we like anything wonky don't we in this group we like anything wonky of course we do so I'm just adding those scratchy lines. So we'll just clean that off. And I'm just building it so it all goes together. Brilliant, Leslie. I just love being in my craft room. I feel so happy in there. I agree, Max, and it's like, it's like a little sanctuary, isn't it? I, I totally agree. It is like a sanctuary. I love my little craft space. Doesn't matter to me what, doesn't matter to me what size it is. So I'm just going to add some white splatters, like so. Add some white splatters as well, just to lift everything, just so it's nice and vibrant, just to lift that. Move that out the way. And then what we're going to do is, if everything will stay put, we'll adhere this. I don't know whether it'll all stay put. Has anyone rusted nails themselves? G Ginny, all as I did was add my rusty nails to one of my terracotta pots outside in the garden. I put them in the garden outside in a terracotta pot. I left them out in the rain and everything, doing nothing to them, and they just rusted naturally. It was brilliant. They just rusted naturally. It was absolutely brilliant. I didn't have to add vinegar. I didn't have to add anything. It just rusted beautifully. It was really good. The nails rusted really well. So I'm just adding that to black card, like so. So just add that to black card. 
and then add this to a white card. I mean, I knew me, I knew me, ne me rusty nail was going to fall off because I haven't given it chance to to dry, but I just wanted it to finish the card, so we'll add that rusty nail afterwards. So just add this to the card like so. Just add that down. Keep that there, and then just add my rusty nail again because that just fell off like so and then what we're going to do so just add that that needs at least 10 minutes to dry that does so you can see that really pops and then what you need to do is you need to make sure that if you're sending it as a gift to somebody that you then decorate the inside of the card so let me just get a scrap of paper let me get a scrap of paper so this all stays clean so put that there then take your inserts take your insert of your card which you've also decorated exactly the same so this is your insert of your card and then you'd add that to the insert and stamp your b on one side so you'd add your b where's my b stamp add my b stamp just so it looks professional looks like you've stayed you know you've really thought about the design my nails have been in water for nearly a week and haven't started they will do ros they will honestly my, i think mine t mine took they took about a month but they definitely rusted they definitely rusted so it's definitely worthwhile and i didn't have to use any chemicals anything i didn't have to use anything so what i'm going to do now is just Add, add my B. I've got paint on my acrylic block. So just add the B to the inside of the card. And then if you've got an envelope as well, if you've got an envelope, then you can decorate the envelope as well. Just so that it all looks like you've coordinated. I can't put this on the inside at the minute because the nail isn't dry. So that's my card, that's my insert, and then what I'd do is I'd get an A5 envelope and I'd decorate the envelope as well. No problem, Ginny, I've finished anyway. So that gives you a coordinated look. It means that everything works together beautifully. So this is your inside of your card, this is your card, and then you decorate the envelope the same. Oh, thank you, Stefania. Thank you. Thanks, Belinda. Sending you my love. So Jennifer's sending a love to Pauline. It just finishes it off, doesn't it, Lynn? If you do an insert, it just makes it, finishes it all in there. If they were treated with, no, I don't treat mine with anything, Ros. I just left them in there. Have you tried Sturgeron? Oh, Sturgeron. So no, so at least it all coordinates. And if you're giving it as a gift, it looks like you've really thought about it. And that's our demo for today. What I might do uh, for my next Facebook Live is I might do something with, with a 3D camera. I think the B would work great on tiny cards. It would, Belinda, to make a little batch of cards. I just think it looks lovely with the insert. So I just like the fact that it's got an insert. Yes, get well soon, Pauline. So I do love how it all works together. But if you look at the paint, the paint is really textural. It's got lots of bumps and lumps. It's not the same as when you apply it with a brayer. It's got lots of lumps and bumps. So it really is a totally different look for your paints. It, it's sort of, it looks like you've gone onto a wall. You know, like you would... Add plaster to a wall. It looks like that when you add it with the palette knife. It really does look like that. And that little touch of black makes it pop. So maybe if you're making a card for somebody, decorate the insert as well, just to make it special. But I think for my next Facebook Live, I'll make something with the 3D camera. Maybe do something like that. You're very welcome, Vanessa. You're very welcome. So it just just something a little bit different to use your stamps and it gives you some ideas for your weekend wow. 
So thank you very much, everybody. I've really enjoyed your company today. So how long have we been on? Hey, we did that just about right, just coming up to an hour. So that's not too bad, really. But I just think that's a different way to add your paints. Just remember not to mix them. Oh, thank you, Sheila. You're very welcome. So I hope you all have a lovely evening and I'll see you in a few days for another Facebook Live. But I'll do a little tour of my craft room for you. Then you can see how small it is. I'll do a little tour and then I'll put it in the group when I've just tidied all my crap up. So, <laughs> so thank you very much, everybody. And I shall see you all soon. See you in a few days. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye.